got a broken component off of a bicycle trailer. It's actually broken in a couple different places, but the real issue is this ball and socket joint that finally snapped off. The way this works is this part will bolt onto the chain stay, or it's a little bit rubberized in here so it won't slide around. The strap holds it tight, this lever will click down, giving it a lot of force, and then there used to be a little loop here, and you would click that right through there. And that still works fine, the tension will hold that down, no problem. But the real issue is this, I believe it's polycarbonate uh, ball component to the ball and socket, and that snapped off from the swing arm on the rest of the trailer. So what I'm gonna do is just take a number three. It's pretty tight. Number three square bit here. And struggle to remove these. There. Go ahead and take these all the way out. There we go. Comes in two pieces. Pretty straightforward. Nothing super fancy. This is the piece I'm after. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 3D print a replica of this and I'll test it out and see if it can hold up to the same stresses and if in fact I can totally replace this piece with a printed part. Next step's really gonna be taking some basic measurements. Use a set of calipers here. I'm gonna measure in millimeters to keep everything straight. I prefer to work in millimeters in my modeling software. So I'll just take a quick measurement here, and that's going to be a sphere of 28 millimeters. Now, for the length of this, what I'm going to have to do is measure from approximately the end of the sphere out to the break or the end of the break, and that's going to be 14 millimeters. And then I have a picture of the piece back at home that is still in the bicycle trailer. And I will need to look at that picture and get a rough estimate of the overall length of this and where I need to position the screw hole that bolts it into the trailer. Modeling this piece is going to be very simple. I'm just going to use Blender 2.78. I'm going to double the number of segments and rings on a UV sphere after deleting the cube. And then I'm also going to add a subdivision surface modifier with two iterations. Then I'm going to scale it down to its appropriate size. I'm going to add just a circle. I'm going to view it from the top, go into edit mode, and select the vertices on the side of the circle. And I'm going to scale those in along the x-axis in groups until I've created a flat piece. Then I will just extrude that up to give it some height, punch in the numbers to give it the exact height that I need. I found that I needed to adjust it slightly on the width, so I brought out a group of vertices there added a face on the top but not on the bottom and then used a boolean modifier with the union setting on the two pieces and joined the two pieces deleted the old piece that was left over and then saved it as an STL then after the saving the piece I brought up craftware imported my STL double checked the overall height and scaled my piece in the object view to make sure it was right. Then I went into the slicer, set my layer height to be 0.2 millimeters. I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So I kept that there. Decided to add 35% of a triangle grid of infill. 
and then added six perimeters so the outside would be quite thick and then four to six top and bottom layers. What I ended up realizing was with the sphere oriented directly down, the surface area would be very, very small and the print wouldn't stick to the bed once it started printing up. So I went ahead and flipped everything and then added support to the whole piece. I left that print to run overnight and in the morning, this is what I saw. At some point, finishing up on the sphere in like the last 10% of the print, the filament didn't quite go down, it caught the nozzle, and made a very large mess. But the rest of the piece is actually in very good condition. Um, I won't be able to use this piece, but I was able to take a close look at it, take off all the support material, and learn a couple things. I decided that the support material was totally unnecessary. If I kept the piece with the ball side down, it would have been totally usable if I used support there instead of on the whole length of the shaft. But I checked the measurements too, and everything was quite accurate, well enough for this piece. And I uh, also decided that the infill, I might as well double the lines in there to give it a little bit more strength. <laughs> Thank you.